Hey, welcome back. Josh Hardy here with Hardy Brothers Outdoors. Today I'm talking about the County Line 5 foot box blade. Uh, and I run it on my 2032R John Deere compact tractor. Uh, this box blade has been uh, a really good attachment for me. I use it to, uh, to fix uh, the, the ruts in our trails. I use it to, to work on our driveway whenever we have uh, erosion or wear. And I also have some areas where I'm uh, moving some significant amounts of dirt. So in this video, uh, I'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the attachment itself. Uh, like I said, I use it on the John Deere uh, 2032R. I've got an eye match quick hitch on the back. This lines up perfectly with that. So you usually uh, have really good luck with that. And um, what I'm going to uh, to do is basically demonstrate it on three projects. The driveway first, uh, then we'll use it uh, to grade out some dirt on a creek crossing that I have. I already started that work, uh, so I'll show some pictures of, of uh, what it looks like uh, before and during, and then I've got some, some video footage of actually doing the grading uh, that, uh, that I'll, I'll add in. And then I've got some, some trails up in the woods that we use our tractors on. Uh, we've got a variety of equipment that we take up and down through there. We're going to get at it. I'm going to start with the driveway project. So we're going to do a quick walk down the driveway so you can see uh, what we're working on here. Uh, I'll attach uh, the, the quick hitch here to the, uh, the county line five foot box blade and we'll do some uh, some grading here and then we'll go down the road to the uh, the creek crossing and hit that and we'll finish up in the woods on some of the trails up there I've already started some of those as well didn't have the camera with me at the time uh, and was super impressed at, at how they uh, started to turn out but I've got a lot more to, to work on so stay tuned uh, we're gonna get some grading going here and uh, we'll check back here in a little bit Let's take a walk here and see what we're looking at here for the driveway. Not too bad up here. Once we get down here by the pond, we start to see a, some rutting. This is where the rain runs down. Pretty good size rut right here. And then you can see how the ruts pick up all the way down to the road so pretty good hole right in through here so we're going to start it pull some rock to the bottom and bring it back up actually let's go ahead and take a look here because it's it got even worse off the rain last night i have a drain over here i have to be careful of make sure i don't uh Hit that, and then we'll try to grade out the area here around the edge, and all the way out to the road here. So usually, take this on and uh, and do it once. This time of year, maybe one or two times a year. So let's get to it.
good. I think it was less than uh, less than 10 minutes. But uh, let's do a quick walk down through there so you can see how uh, how that looks. So it's normal to uh, turn over some dirt in the process. There's a little high spots, but not too bad. Because of the uh, nature of this driveway, I don't want to completely tear it up and dig down too much. Just want to take out the humps in the, in the valleys, and once we drive on it a little bit more, it'll get packed down much better. But yeah, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. And uh, no need for the scarifiers on uh, loose gravel like this. It's just use the, the blade and you can change the aggressiveness on that on how you tilt it. So, in the driveway, looks pretty good. Got rid of some of the mounds of mud that came from that uh, wash out there and left a little bit of a trench down the side. Make sure that we can get uh, more water flow going down that edge. At some point I'll dig that out with the backhoe. But uh, yeah, looks pretty good. So we're moving a ton of dirt. It's going along really well. Uh, this is actually some really good dirt. I think they moved a lot of this in with a, a dozer when they filled in the creek. So um, we're down below where they uh, where they filled, uh, trying to make it more gradual than it was even before. And uh, it's looking pretty good on this side. I think we need to uh, hit the other side. But what I'm going to do right now is raise the scarifiers back up, maybe 
give a little bit of tilt to the uh, to the box blade to, to get a little bit of cut from the just the, the main blade and uh, see if we can't even it out some so stop taking such an aggressive amount of dirt each time and just try to see if we can can smooth it out so we'll make those adjustments there's just a uh, uh, hitch pin here that uh, allows you to raise and lower them, lower them. There's numerous settings uh, so you could go way more aggressive or not aggressive at all. Uh, I think right now we are uh, looks like maybe just uh, two or three inches below uh, the main blade so we're gonna make that adjustment and get back to it smooth this out and probably jump to the other side and see if we can make some uh, some more cleanup over there. Okay, so at the beginning of the video, we said we we're gonna hit three projects. One was uh, the driveway, two was the crossing down in the creek, and three was to dress up some trails. So we just finished dressing up some of the trails. Uh, we've got a lot of issues in here. It's gonna be a multi-day, multi-week, probably all summer project to get these things uh, dried out, more dry dirt moved, bring in some more uh, uh, riprap and rock and things like that that we can fill some of these ruts with and um, confident that we can get it done. So before we wrap, let's just do a kind of a final uh, wrap up on the, the Tartar uh, five foot box blade that I purchased uh, as the county line brand from Tractor Supply. Very happy with it, no complaints whatsoever, never had an issue with it. Uh, you've got the blade on the very back, you've got the, the box with the scarifiers that allows you to uh, pick up dirt and move it, uh, and you've seen a variety of instances of that. The scarifiers, the rippers, are adjustable to, I think, uh, five positions, and they're all just held in with a pin, very easy to move. Uh, I have this on the quick hitch, so it's a, it's a category one. One of the questions that I kept seeing on the reviews on, on uh, tractor supply was, will it fit this tractor or that tractor? It's up to a 35 horsepower tractor, Generally, I think like 25 or higher for a five foot wide attachment. Below that, you go to the four foot attachments. Above 35, you go to the six foot attachments. I don't know that it matters. I could probably get away with a six foot attachment here and do uh, you know fewer passes and maybe more leveling. 
but this works well for me. Whenever I have problems with traction, I'm able to just uh, press down on that differential lock uh, that's on the John Deere 2032R and uh, get the extra traction I need or just maybe bump up the bucket a little bit uh, on, the, on the rear uh, uh, hydraulics here to make sure that I can dump out some of the, the soil. So very pleased with it. I uh, hope you liked this. Hopefully it was helpful. Hit the like and subscribe. We've got a lot more reviews coming. I'm getting ready to uh, uh, release one on my tiller, which is also county line. I've got a county line 25 ton uh, uh, woods, hydraulic wood splitter that's not, not a PTO driven one, but an independent one uh, that's been very good to me. I also have the county line uh, five foot rotary cutter that I bought for a smaller tractor. Uh, and it also is the perfect size for the, uh, the 2032R. So we'll do reviews on all of those. And if you haven't seen yet the, uh, the John Deere 2032R warning video, take a look at that. We had some bolts falling out of our axles and uh, seems to be a pretty common issue with John Deere. So thank you much. Hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.